now say I have my database Northwind so my application let us assume that my application is working with Northwind database and for security purpose I am using ASP.NET DB it means that I have got two databases for security it is working with ASP.NET DB and for our application it is working with Northwind so in our real time what we need we need both the things to be merged into a single database now what is that I want I want to merge this ASP.NET DB into my Northwind database so before we proceed for that let us see what a web config file is web config file is nothing but it is an XML file which contains all the configuration settings for a given web application like we have the settings connection string available in this and we saw various settings using ASP.NET configuration tool like setting roles authentication types all those things are available in web.config file we set mail settings and we had authentication to form or authentication to windows enabling roles so all these settings are available in web.config file so any settings which is related to my web application is in your web.config file if you observe we have one more web.config file in admin folder which contains the access rule permissions we set allow admin to access this folder and deny rest of the users to access this folder so that can be achieved with the help of web.config file as well so we do any kind of changes using ASP.NET configuration tool all those changes gets reflected in your web.config file so I can say that in my web application I can have n number of web.config files but one for one folder one for one folder so a web.config file contains the configuration information about a particular web application so in my machine or in my system if I have n number of web applications then I'll get n number of web.config files now as we have web.config file here we have a one more file in our machine called as machine.config file now what does it contain whenever I go for ASP.NET configuration tool and create roles and users it is automatically creating ASP.NET DB in local server so this setting is done at machine level in machine.config file in my whole machine I can have one and only one machine.config file which contains the configuration information about the machine that means if I create n number of applications all of them will use the same machine.config file so we did not say anything saying that you know create the ASP.NET application in local SQL server but it is creating in local SQL server why because that is done in your machine.config file now where can I get that machine.config file I can get it from C colon windows microsoft.net framework version 2.0 in configuration folder and if I write M this is nothing but your machine configuration file I'll right click and I'll say open with 
विजुअल स्टूडियो 2008। नाउ दिस फाइल कंटेन्स द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कंप्लीट मशीन यू सी दैट यू हैव ए कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग अवेलेबल हियर इन मशीन डॉट कॉन्फिक फाइल नेम इज लोकल एसक्यूल सर्वर एंड कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग इज एसक्यूल एक्सप्रेस इंटीग्रेटेड सिक्योरिटी ट्रू एंड फॉर माई ए एस पी नेट डेटा बेस आई एम यूजिंग द सेम कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग फॉर प्रोफाइल्स फॉर रोल्स वेन एवर आई क्रिएट द रोल इट इज गेटिंग जनरेटेड इन ए एस पी नेट डेटा बेस सो ऑल दो सेटिंग्स आर अवेलेबल हियर यू सी दैट कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग द नेम ऑफ डेटा बेस फाइल इज ए एस पी नेट डी बी डॉट एम डी एफ इट इज गिवेन हियर बाई डिफॉल्ट सो वी हैव द सेटिंग्स एट मशीन लेवल वी हैव द सेटिंग्स एट एप्लीकेशन लेवल एंड वी हैव द सेटिंग्स एट फोल्डर लेवल फोल्डर लेवल एंड एप्लीकेशन लेवल सेटिंग्स कैन बी डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेब डॉट कॉन्फिक फाइल वेर एज मशीन लेवल सेटिंग्स वी कैन डू इट विथ मशीन डॉट कॉन्फिक फाइल सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फ्यू ऑफ द things from machine dot config file in our current topic now coming towards our topic what i want i want to merge my asp net db into north wind database how do i do that i have a tool that is nothing but asp net underscore reg sql and this tool is available in c colon windows microsoft net framework version 2.0.5 so i can use this tool for merging my asp net db into north wind database or i can access that tool from my command prompt as well visual studio 2008 command prompt i can go for the command prompt and i can simply write asp net underscore r e g s q l asp net underscore r e g s q l if i run this command it is going to start a tool for me asp net s q l server setup wizard i'll say next so it says that this is the wizard configure the sql server database that stores the information for asp net application services membership profile role management personalization and many things so i'll say next now what is that i want to do configure sql server for application services this option runs a script that creates a new database or configure an existing database to store the information of asp net membership profile role management on all those things So what is it I want to do? I want to go with an existing database. So I'll just select that and say next. And what is my database? I'll select it from here. It is nothing but Northwind database, right? I'll select Northwind database. That means I want to merge ASP Net DB in Northwind database. I'll say next. Say next. now what is that it says let us read this you should now configure the provider for membership profile role and personalization and sql web event provider to reflect the changes you made in the wizard if you have removed the application service information from the database be sure to change the provider for it means that it is saying you need to do some settings if you are using this tool simply by using this tool you cannot proceed ahead you need to do some settings in your web.config files now let us say finish exit this come back to our application and i'll refresh this now if you observe this northwind database it has got all aspnet tables merged
earlier tables plus this new tables that means now I can go for using this database for my ASP.NET security 